Hello everyone. Welcome to Reynatis. I was sent this limited edition by Nipponichi Software America, NISA for short. Thank you very much. So I want to focus today on the unboxing. I am hoping this will be a very beautiful edition, but I have already started playing the game uh, digitally. I'm about a good 10 hours into the game, so there is a fair amount that I can say about it. Let's get the cellophane cover off first of all. Reynatis, what's in a name? What does it mean? Well, the producer and director has uh, talked about that, and I will just quote him. In Latin, the word Renatus means to be born again or reborn. In Spanish, re and nato means roughly king and birth. In other words, it's a made-up word based on these meanings. That's fair enough. It's a nice-sounding name. And the front cover of the box is, I think, striking. And the sparkle certainly adds a touch. You will get to know the character himself. He is called Marin. He's one of the protagonists, and I will talk about him. He's what's called a stray wizard. On the back cover, you see the other main protagonist, Sari. Just to make it clear, there will be some mild spoilers in my discussion. It is unavoidable. They're mainly focused on the backdrop, on the setting of the game, both physical and world building. And the characters are obviously a part of that and the story. But I will not mention anything plot related, obviously. I would say the theme of the game is very much focused on these two protagonists, Marin and Sari, and their position in modern day Tokyo. Shibuya is the setting, but we're not in the real world, not our world. We're in an alternate reality where wizards, magic and witchcraft are all important. And no, definitely not Harry Potter. <laughs> so Marin is a wizard who lives a life of trying to avoid detection. He's a stray wizard. He feels suppressed in his life. He cannot openly be the person who he is. On the other hand, Asari, who also has wizard or magic abilities because of her job is involved in suppressing what she sees as an evil. Uh, she works for a government agency abbreviated to MEA. They control and patrol Shibuya and try to contain the wizard elements that they see as dangerous to general safety and social well-being.目覚めた時私は魔法使いになっていた臨死体験の後に魔力を得たものはレプリカと呼ばれる模造品複製と見下されることもあるけど私は気にしない使える魔法は本物だから俺は十四の冬に聖子の境を彷徨いそして魔法
So the game very early on poses the question, what is social justice? And the balance between control by authority versus the freedom of the individual. Uh, I think you will agree that this is not only an ever fascinating topic, uh, but also one that's very relevant to our times and, and our lives. Okay, the box is very tightly packed. Uh, you know me and my cardboard obsession. It's the usual NIS sturdy outer box. As you can see already here, uh, the developer of the game is listed as for you. And many of you who are into JRPGs uh, will be familiar with that name. So I'm pulling out a hardback art book. Uh, various pieces of artwork that I need to unwrap to be able to identify. Original mini soundtrack. I am actually really excited about the soundtrack and I will show you why. Uh, this is the opening title screen for the game. Okay, the soundtrack, beautifully presented. The track list is the same as for the digital uh, soundtrack, uh, just six. I have no idea why it's restricted to only six. You can fit a lot more on a, an audio CD. Uh, I expect they might want to sell the full soundtrack separately, considering that the composer is Shimomura. And of course, uh, the game itself, which I need to open up because it's the deluxe edition and there are extras inside that you will want to know about. Uh, so the game itself, the deluxe edition, no interior artwork. It comes with a digital soundtrack with six tracks and a mini art book. Okay, this mini art book is obviously on the small side. It does have some really good key illustrations and what's important, there are explanations and comments from the artist, producer, etc. giving extra insight. So, if you have good eyesight, then I think this will be a really nice addition to have. So, that's it. The deluxe edition of the game. I noticed that almost all the reviews available for Renatas are either PC or the majority probably PlayStation 5. Uh, so I think it's important considering there are a lot of Switch players interested in JRPGs to also have an overview of what it's like playing it on the Switch. Now this item is really interesting. So inside we have the main illustration for Renatus showing an intersection of the um, two worlds there. And interestingly, the three panels show us the three main protagonist members of the MEA unit that Sari is the leader of. Uh, she is shown in the center and to the right is her colleague Dogo. We'll, we'll no doubt see them in the art book as well, and then I'll explain a bit further. And here on the left is Ukai. He uses pistols for his weapons, 
And Dogo, he's the strong man, the tank, the one who uses physical force more than magic. Sari, of course, is your all-rounder with good fluid combat movement and various attack types. And the last item to unpack it could be an acrylic standee, I'm not certain. So I just checked the um, official description by uh, NIS, uh, and they call this here a multi-panel art frame. Okay, that's a very uh, long word. I, I call it a triptych, but I suppose that's a bit more old-fashioned. And this item is, in fact, an acrylic art print. It has a sort of a two-layer 3D effect with a background and then the characters on the foreground. And here is the print card to illustrate that. I think what this is meant to illustrate is um, a costume available via DLC. Uh, it's meant to uh, showcase the more dressy side, obviously. I have just inserted the two metal pins that make this art print into a displayable unit. So finally, let's have a look at the art book. I think it's pretty clear that um, this edition focuses heavily on design and art and music. Now, that cover art takes my breath away. It is extraordinarily beautiful. The very first thing in the book is a listing of the crucial people involved in the production of Renatas. And that is the producer Takumi. He works uh, at Furyu Corporation. His official title is Game Director at Furyu, and he created the original plan and was the producer for this title. He's also often in articles cited as a creative director. I'll come back to him in a moment. I think he is the linchpin. He is uh, crucial for how we look at Reynardis and how we understand what happened with the making of the game. The character designs are by Yastaka Kaburagi, a freelance illustrator. So he did the character design for Renates. I looked him up, his work as it's detailed online and on social media, and he's got a very distinctive style that also comes through in these illustrations. And finally, the key visuals are by Yusuke Naura, also a very well-known artist. Now, Mr. Naura used to work for um, Square Enix, and his work goes back to the 1990s and 2000s, and he has a lot of titles uh, to his credit as designer, art director, etc. Just to mention a few, many of the Final Fantasies, The Last Remnant, Chaos Rings, and Always, Always Final Fantasy, uh, right up to 15. So this would be an example of uh, key visuals. And here's an example of the character design sketches and artwork, in this case for Marin, a Marin with weapons. This is Sari. I think it's quite obvious there is a lot of attention to detail. Another stray wizard called Nika Meguro, um, who is also a playable character. And a big favourite of mine is Moa. As you can see, she is cute. And she likes cute, and she likes rabbits. And she's got this enormous hammer she wields in battle, which is just an amazing sight to behold. She's also really entertaining in the dialogue sequences with her team members and, and other people. She always brings a somewhat unusual and entertaining note to every conversation. Uh, this is Ukai, 
who wields the pistols in the unit that Sari commands. And finally, a Dorgo, also a team member with Sari, who specialises in fisticuffs. You see how um, colourful and once again detailed many of the character designs are. Now, this character, Mugen Kaido, has attracted some very negative comments. He is the captain of what's called the Magic Task Force at MEA headquarters, so he commands units like the one uh, of Sari. And I think you can already see from the illustration what type of character he is meant to be, and that is certainly important for the story. Some more lovely artwork from the art book showcasing some of the characters. Here on this side, uh, that's Moa and Nika from Owl. And they are two characters that I really warmed to. Uh, they're very nicely portrayed. Some more DLC costumes here. Again, I think they're outstanding illustrations. Really, really gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Many thanks again to Nisa for arranging this. As always, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Please keep well. I'm Food for Dogs. Bye-bye. <laughs>